What's up everybody? Today I will be showing you the easiest method to record or stream your games either to Twitch or to YouTube. This method is the least resource hungry of them all, meaning that even people who don't have high-end PCs can do it. And it's really easy to set up. So let's begin. The first thing we will be looking at is the software. Now I'm sure that all of you have heard of XSplit, OBS and DxStory and even though these software are great, they tend to use up a lot of your available processor power and RAM when recording. The software I am using only cares about your graphics card and the in-game performance hit is really just 2 or 3 frames per second. What I'm talking about is something many people overlook when it comes to streaming or locally recording and that is the software that comes with your graphics driver. Yes, I'm talking about NVIDIA GeForce Experience. At this point I will have to tell you that this particular method applies only to NVIDIA GPU owners, but AMD fans can check the description box because you too have an alternative. Now, NVIDIA GPU owners. The first thing you need to install is the Beta GeForce Experience software, which as of this date is at version 2.10.1.2. This version adds YouTube and Twitch streaming support to the software which was formerly known as Shadowplay. To do this you have to open up GeForce Experience, go to Preferences and General. At the bottom of the page you will have to tick the two boxes from the Beta Updates category and then check for updates. After the update is installed we can begin to set up your streaming and recording options. To start recording your games, all you have to do is click on the arrow next to the share button in the upper right corner and hit preferences. From here you can set up your keyboard hotkeys, add an overlay and select the location where you want your recordings to be saved. After this is set up to your liking, it's time to hit the share button, click on record and go to customize. From here you can set up your recording resolution, frame rate and the most important thing, the bitrate. The bitrate controls the clarity of the image when the game is being recorded. I have it set to 50 because I play a lot of fast-paced racing games or third-person games where the image moves really fast and I want it to be as clear as possible. If you play strategy games like StarCraft or text-based games like Papers, Please or maybe Hearthstone, you can set the bitrate to 30 or lower without really losing any quality and bonus, your recording files will be smaller. But I suggest you test different settings and see what works best for you. If you want to record your commentary while you play, you can set up a microphone here and also add a webcam from this section. Now all you have to do is start your game and either hit the Open GeForce Experience hotkey, which is Alt-Z by default, to open up your overlay and click on Start Recording, or hit the Start Recording hotkey that you have set up previously. Coming back to the future streamers out there. If you want to stream your gameplay, you need to click on the down arrow next to the share button in GeForce Experience and click on connect. From here you can set up either your YouTube or Twitch account to work with GeForce Experience. You just type in your username and your password for a service you want and you are done. We also want to set up the stream quality and to do this we will go to share, broadcast and customize. Here we find the exact same options as we did before with the recording section. But if you notice, the bitrate meter only goes as far as 9. This is because you will be constantly uploading your gameplay to YouTube or Twitch and that takes up a lot of bandwidth for both you and your viewers. The quality will be the best at 9 and the lowest at 1. Depending on the game you play and how big your upload speed is, you have to set this up yourself. When streaming, people also want to interact with the guy behind the keyboard or controller, so at this step we should also set up the microphone and optionally a webcam by using these two options here. Now we just have to start the game and hit Alt-Z or whatever hotkey you have selected and we can start streaming right away. If you have a second monitor, a laptop, a tablet or even your smartphone, you can use those to keep an eye on your chat and interact with the viewers or just to check on your stream quality. Well that's it guys, you now have a working recording and streaming setup. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if I missed something let me know and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe for future videos. Until next time!